Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back and share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video, my tea time video on Lisa Renner. Listen, Lisa Renner had a good track record of slaying a, a, a housewife down up into the wrecking ball Kathy Hilton came along, okay? Before Kathy Hilton, and if I'm leaving someone out, let me know. But before Kathy Hilton, Lisa record was five to zero, okay? She knocked five housewives out the box just like that. One by one, she slayed them down. But now, since Kathy Hilton came along, she is five to one. She has definitely lost this battle against Kathy Hilton. And not only did she lose it, it's the potential that she's going to lose her job or be reduced down to a friend of the show or maybe to the point where not only is she not going to be able to come back on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but her name is Mud in these streets and she may not be able to get a job anywhere. Okay, so let's get into this and talk about this. Lisa Renner didn't come to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills until season five. And the moment she arrived on the scene, she was governing. She had it in for um, Kim Richards. I don't know if someone told her that, look, if you want to get on this series and stay on this series, um, you're going to have to make your name known. You're going to have to make it so that people won't forget it about you. So you're going to have to find somebody that you go after and you don't let up until they're done. Well, she did it with Kim Richards. I'm going to be honest with you. I think if Kim Richards didn't have, and listen, guys, this is well known. She's been in rehab for it, so I'm not shading her. But I think if Kim Richards didn't have an alcohol problem, Kim Richards would have been Kathy Hilton. And we might not have been seeing all of these shenanigans for all of these seasons because she would have, Kim would have knocked her out the box from the door because Kim Richards saw her she saw Lisa Renner for what she was but nobody kind of backed her up and I think because Kim had her own issues she couldn't stand the test of time with Lisa Renner so when Lisa Renner arrived on the scene season five she came after Kim she talked about being an alcoholic and then when Kim was you know saying that you know she'd been to rehab she was um, sober. She talked about her sobriety so much so that Lisa Renner was quoted as saying that she felt like Kim Richards was near death. Okay. And she also said that her sister Kyle was an enabler. Now the typical Lisa Renner, even though she wanted to claim, you know, own it, own it, own it. When Kyle Richards approached Lisa Renner about saying that her sister Kim was near death, um, Lisa Renner all of a sudden got amnesia. She couldn't remember what she said. Then she blamed it on the second person I'm going to tell you she knocked out the box, and that is Eden Sassoon. But we'll get to that. She blamed it on someone else. She acted like she totally did not remember saying that about Kim Richards. But like I said, listen, Kim, she didn't go out easy, okay? She won a couple rounds in this fight with Lisa Renna. So when it was Lisa versus Kim, you know, Kim lasted about, I'm going to say, two to three rounds, okay? She didn't go down easy. Kim came back at her. Kim told her at the dinner table one time, like, Lisa, you want to keep picking on me? You want to keep playing around saying I'm an alcoholic, I'm a drunk, I'm near death? She said, you don't want us to go there about your husband. And when Kim Richards said that to Lisa, Lisa lost her natural mind. So ironic. That happened, I want to say, season five or season six. Or, or did that happen season seven? It might happen season seven. But I will say this. Very ironic that Lisa Renner wants to say that Kathy Hilton had a psychotic breakdown. Um, when Lisa Renny, Renner has had many psychotic breakdowns herself. And she had one with Kim Richards when Kim mentioned um, Lisa's husband. She lost her natural mind, threw a wine glass, got up and was acting a crazy fool to the point where Kyle can't even deal with it. She just ran out the room and left Kim there to fend for herself. 
And that wasn't the only time that Lisa, I mean, that Kim Richards run around against Lisa. She run around against Lisa at the reunion where, you know, Lisa tried to call herself making up and giving Kim um, Richards, you know, a, a teddy bear since Kim had had a grandchild at the time. And Kim brought that teddy bear back and was like, pretty much like, I don't, I don't want nobody, I don't want this gift from the devil for my grandbaby. Um, You can't stand me. And you trying to give us a gift so this nonsense would be in our house, bad juju. She brought it to the reunion and she gave it back to Lisa Renner. And there's very few times where Lisa Renner gets quiet and shuts her mouth. Well, that was one of them. Andy loved it to the point where he had that darn teddy bear in his um, clubhouse on Watch What Happens Live for a very long time. I don't think I've seen it recently, but I know he had it in there for a while. But the point being... Kim didn't go down without a fight, but eventually, you know, Kim went from being a, a, a full-time member on the show to being a friend of the show and to eventually where we really didn't see Kim Richards anymore on the show because she was struggling with her sobriety. But that was one of the first people, I'm going to say, that Lisa Renna just slaughtered and knocked her out the box. The next one we're going to talk about, and I want to say, what season was this? I got to look at my notes. Oh, season six. Season six, it was Yolanda Hadid, okay? And Yolanda Hadid was another one. Um, She just was not built for that. She wasn't built to be up against a Lisa Renner. So when it was Lisa Renner against Yolanda Hadid, um, Yolanda Hadid, I don't even think she won any rounds in that fight. I think Lisa Renna kept a plucking and a plucking and a plucking and a plucking and a plucking until she took her down. Pretty much said that, you know, that uh um that Yolanda Hadid was lying about her that that she had the Lyme disease. Said that, you know, she was just exaggerating. It was all in her head. And she went around to everybody. And then she kind of blamed, you know, um, she said that Yolanda had to had that. I always butcher up this name. I'm gonna say Munchaus Munchausen, um, Munchausen disease, okay, syndrome, where you kind of like have it in your head that you have something, but you really don't. So Lisa Renna tried to act like LVP said at first. It was a whole hot mess. It was a whole hot mess. But Lisa Renna, she kind of throws C's out there. Well, you know what they say, throw rocks, you know, throw stones, and then hide your hands. That's Lisa Renna. Another one that says, you know, own it. Lisa Renna owns nothing that she starts, Okay. So she kind of did that with Yolanda Hadid, um, and Yolanda pretty much was like done after the reunion. She was, she just never was seen on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills again. So that was Lisa Renner's second win in this whole big debacle of her slaying people off of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Then after that, it was that Eden Sassoon. Now Eden Sassoon was like collateral damage. She was only on there one season. Um, she really thought that Lisa Renner was her friend. But when Lisa Renner got busted for saying things about Kim, um, more specifically, when she said Kim was near death, Lisa Renner ended up blaming that whole thing on Eden Sassoon. And so Eden was shocked. And when they went to the reunion, um, she's thinking, oh, Lisa's my friend. And she told me this situation in confidence. Um, she didn't know she was going to get railroaded. And anyway, at the end of the day, we never saw Eden Sassoon again. That was the third person that Lisa Renner just, just wiped out the box, okay? Now, another person that we have here, we know, let me see what season it was. I got to just check my notes. Oh, season nine. Season nine. And this is the season where I think, you know, before that, a lot of people was kind of dealing with um, Lisa Renner's shenanigans, but once she messed with LVP, people really started to not like her at all. So LVP was the whole puppy gate situation, right? Dorit got a puppy from LVP and da 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 and so forth and so on. It was puppy gate. And then they accused um LVP of leaking the story. And that 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 whole thing, puppy gate just I mean, it just went wild. It was like wildfire. To the point though, Lisa Renner could not handle it at all. To the point where she didn't even show up for the reunion and she quit. And we never heard from Lisa Renner in connection with Real Housewives of Beverly Hills again. So here you go. Lisa Renner, another one bit the dust. Okay? She took out her fourth victim. Just like that. Because you know what? Once Lisa Renner get the pluck in, it's hard for people to kind of know how to come back at her. 
Because she's a beast with that thing. But then after LVP, it came a long time friend. And this is where people knew that Lisa can go gutter low. She didn't give a darn. She and Denise Richard had a 20 year plus relationship, like a friendship, okay? A true friendship. They started in this industry almost together. They 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 passed each other, did stuff together, so forth and so on. Lisa Renner, she, you know, she doesn't care what she has to do for a storyline. She's going to do it and she's going to make it happen. So she just tagged on to this thing that Lisa, um, that Denise Richards, um, you know, slept with a girl outside of marriage. Okay. Brandy. And I don't like Brandy. So I ain't even going to spend much time with her. But, you know, she kept saying, you slept with her. You slept with her. She told us you slept with her. Why are you hiding it? Why won't you talk about it? Why won't you address it? Because you slept with her when you was married to your husband. And Denise, it was heart-wrenching to watch because Denise just absolutely did not know how to handle the heat. Denise didn't even win not a round in that fight against Lisa Renner. It was like a TKO, a total knockout. Denise just shriveled up and shattered right before our eyes. And I was like on the screen like, Denise, this ain't a big deal. I mean, talk to your husband. Say you kissed the girl, whatever. Or just deny, deny, deny. But don't let that chick slay you down like that. Lisa Renner slayed. Denise Richards down. We never saw Denise again. She did not come back for another season after that. And that was victim number five, so to speak, of Lisa Renner. And that's what gave her five to zero record. Well... Because Lisa Renner was so used to her shenanigans, so used to treating people any kind of way in winning, she thought, foolishly, she could do it to Kathy Hilton. Well, here we are, season 12. Many people thought, like, they would never see this day. But Kathy Hilton, a friend of the show, and see many boxers, many fighters, they under underestimate the underdog. And for sure, Kathy Hilton was an underdog. She's not a full-time castmate. She's a friend of the show. Um, she doesn't do many scenes, right? So Lisa Renner thought, oh, this girl's going to be an easy target. She's a friend of, who cares? She didn't know that Kathy Hilton was going to be the fan favorite, especially two seasons in a row. So she thought she would pluck at her, right? So you got the fan favorite, who's just a friend of the show. She comes through. You think she's an easy target. Especially because you done, you done slayed bigger bears than her, so to speak, okay? You done slayed down some top dogs. LVP, Yolanda Hadid, Denise Richards, okay? Kim Richards. Why can't I get Kathy? Well, she met her match. Kathy Hilton wasn't playing with her. Kathy Hilton let her know that you are not going to mess with me. I'm a Hilton. And for the first time ever, Lisa Renner, she got her loss. She is now five to one, five wins, one loss, but this loss is a big loss. I, it took away her championship belt and then some to the point where Kathy is pulling so much rank. She's letting Bravo know it's either me or her, what y'all going to do. And I think Bravo, they don't want to release Renna, not because they like her so much, because she's ratings go. Listen, their ratings was out the off the charts. Because the, the Housewives franchise on the whole, it, it, it's tickling down, but not the real Housewives of Beverly Hills. They still up top. They still number one. So it's like they're thinking to themselves, what do I do? What happens if I give away uh, my most valuable player? Not most valuable player because, you know, she's liked so much, but most valuable player because she brings this drama and the drama brings the ratings. But like I said, she lost with Kathy because now Bravo has a big decision to make. I go on and off the fence of whether Bravo will keep Lisa or let her go. There's days where I'm 10 toes down, like they're going to keep her because they want the drama. And there's other days where I'm like, it's so much stuff that is glaring. The stuff that happened with Garcelle, the stuff that happened with Kathy, the way that Lisa goes about doing things. It's so glaring that it's like almost like, how can you keep this chick? 
How will you be able to explain not firing Lisa Renna? Listen, guys, that's my tea time for today. And my only question is, do you think that Bravo will cave in and sever ties with Lisa Renna? Do you not agree that Kathy Hilton was the only one that knocked Lisa Renna off her feet? Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. Chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And I'll see you on the next video.